tank. So, I just recently fixed my camouflage bag. Uh, some of you don't even know I have this or have made this, but I fixed it. The bottom was really wonky and had an L shape on both sides, which I thought about interfacing at the time. And I didn't think about, oh, that kind of has to go in first. Although, you know, otherwise the bag's not going to be right. Anyway, here's the back. Here's the front. This is a huge pocket right here. Um, the inside is just the exact same as the outside, just sewn. And then there's a matching inner pocket to the outside pocket. Okay, thing right here. And then, just so happens, by accident, I made a makeup bag that matches. Okay, inside is lined with the blue. And then I made a big enough pocket for my mirror. Oddly enough. So really all I had to do was add in a zipper. And if you see right here, I purposely did this. It does not continue. It stops right here. So I can actually put my finger in here and zip it and unzip it. I can hold it like this. Um, I can also, if it's like lip gloss or eyeliner, I can just slide it in there and go so easy um but yeah and oddly enough whenever i made the straps this one was a lot higher th than this one so for the time being i just cut it at a certain angle and tied it off and actually this strap right here i got it fixed because it wants to come off <laughs> so don't do this at home not, not wanting to, normally I can just tear it like this and it comes apart. Not in this case, so I take my seam ripper. And no, it's not the traditional lobster claw. It's a more versatile um, seam ripper. But for the time being, okay, um, I can always untie it and sew it. But, but for the time being... I'm going to tie it off up here. Uh oh. Let's see. Now it's shorter. Now we got a new problem. Um. Oh, this is so hard to tie. Okay. Well. <laughs> I will have to fix this later. I do have more of this fabric. Um. I'll fix it later. So, thank you guys. Bye.